Hey guys, I'm here with my buddy and we're looking at this Dodge Sportsman RV. We're gonna haul it up the road to his property and we're gonna take a look at it and see if it is a trash or treasure RV find. We're not exactly sure what year this is, but it looks to me to be some kind of late 70s model. It has those classic round single headlights. So inside of that headlight is a high beam and a low beam. And I'll go take a look inside of the driver's seat and see if there's anything useful in here. Check out those roll up windows. Plenty of bugs have made their home in here over the last few years. And the seat actually looks like it's in pretty good shape. Hopefully there's no wasp's nest or anything in here. So the plan with this van is going to be to gut it or gut as much of the stuff in here as possible that is not useful and maybe put it back together. It looks like there's some roof damage there. So there's probably a leak that has to be addressed and we don't even know if it's going to start yet. <laughs> All right, so I'm here in the back. Let's see if the door still works. Oh, that's easy. Open right up. Well, there's nothing here. Good. Again, it looks like it's been uh, lived in by some kind of wildlife. And it has one of those small bunks right here. At some point, there was a refrigerator, some oven. Some of the stuff may be useful, but I have a feeling we're going to end up tearing everything out of this and just completely starting from scratch it looks like maybe one of the last times this was used they were doing some kind of family board games in here here's the view from just inside of the passenger area this is a two-seater i don't know if there were ever any seat belts on these little bench seats but again i don't know how useful these will be as we go forward what do we have here all right there is a bathroom in here and some kind of sink pretty old school we got the shower up there and again looks like more roof damage we'll see as we go along if we can salvage any of this or if it's just going to be a complete i am worried that i'm going to open something here and like a bat's going to fly out and hit me in the head or something so just looking around check out that coffee maker that's wild and some stuff up there and that's a quick overview. Let's see if we can get this thing started. And if we can, get it out of this yard. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna drive it a few miles up the road and then we'll, we'll gut it, clean it up and see what we can do with it. So here I am in the engine compartment. I don't know if it's a V6 or a V8, if it's a V8. It is a V8, so it's probably a 318 or a 360. And no battery, so luckily we brought a battery with us. We'll install that and see if we can get this cranked up. No sparks. All right. Well, let's see if we got contact. Give it a turn. You want me to check and see if there's water in that radiator first? Turning the key. No juice at all, huh? Something's leaking here. Something fresh leaked there. Now it's interesting that there's no sparking coming out at all. Spider webs everywhere. Maybe cobwebs, but there's definitely been some spiders in here. Well, it looks like we picked ourselves up a little frog here, about four feet off the ground. That's pretty funny. So we couldn't get this thing started. I didn't actually think we'd be able to get it started. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of my friend's buddies and see if they'll get their tractor and tow this over. It's only about 100 degrees out today, so I figured I'd give this frog a little sip of water.
good. Whoa. Yep. This thing is definitely blowing some smoke, but it doesn't look like oil. It looks like just a, a rich mixture of gasoline. Give it a try. We got it moving and I got him back there and we're thinking there might be a problem with the brakes and we're about to go down a pretty steep hill so what I'm going to do is just ease down here and let him come up behind me. He's being extra cautious which is really good because that thing I don't think has really good brakes. I don't want to go around this curve until I can see him behind me. Alright so I lost him. I'll get around this curve. And we'll see if he comes speeding down that hill. Then we'll know that the brakes went out. But he's not moving too fast, so looks like uh, the brakes are holding up or he's in that first gear and the transmission is just sliding him down the hill. So looking okay there so I told him if you lost if you lost control of the truck here to just hit that fence and go right through that fence and into that field it'll be a little less damaging than hitting the barbed wire fence if he hits the gate and it'll be a lot better than going over the edge of this creek right here which is only about a 15 foot drop but in that box it would be wild Looks like we made it, all right. Just got a couple of more big hills to go. Okay, this thing has not moved probably in at least 10 years. And it's looking like one of the back dually wheels has a flat. And as you can see, we have a snatch chain attached to the back. In case it does break down, we'll be able to grab that chain and pull it a little bit. Yeah, this thing smells like an old Mopar. He said it has a 360. It's hard to tell between the 318 and the 360. Stalled. Looks like we got it running again. Are you good or not? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Have Go ahead, just come out. That's where we're going up to the top, right? Go up. No. Let it roll down, though. Keep going. No. Okay, so we made it most of the way we wanted to go. We just have to go up a hill over over there, and at the top of that hill is where we're gonna put this thing in its final resting place, at least for the immediate future. So. We're going to hook it up to this chain and see if we can just tow it up this hill real quick. Okay, so we've got the chain hooked up to the tow hitch here. And we've got the chain hooked up to the front. Not the bumper, but just under there under the frame. And that chain is not going to break. And we just have to go up about a mile here. So if we make it up, we'll be good. If not, we might be here all night messing around with this thing. Looks like we're going to be successful. I'm about halfway up this big hill. I do have this thing locked in one, but I don't want to stop till I get to the top. Engine temperature is looking a little high, but I think we're good here. We got good oil pressure, good fuel, and I got this thing behind me running okay.
Hey guys, so we made it safely up the hill. We're gonna leave it here for a couple days, work on it. If we do plan to use it on road, besides just moving it from its last location to here, it will obviously get registered. It needs a lot of maintenance before we'll be ready for that kind of road tripping. But as for now, we plan to simply clean it up, get it ready, and possibly turn it into a you know woodland camping location somewhere out here in the woods. Thanks for watching my video. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you on my next adventure.